My older sister is very upset that I don't consult her about major life decisions. To start off my sister, early 30s, and I, mid-20s, both have pretty strong personalities and have gotten along okay most of our lives but we have always fought a lot too. I do love her and want to get along with her but I also feel like she has no right to be involved in my important life decisions, marriage, career especially when she has very strong opinions on what choices I should or shouldn't make and gets very upset, emotional when it seems like I am not interested in taking her suggestions. I am currently a grad student and my sister finished grad school maybe five years ago with a PhD, from a very elite school too. She has always really encouraged me to achieve high academically and when I was much younger I wanted to achieve in school partially because of her so she was a very positive influence when I was younger. I did well in school not quite as well as she did but feel happy with my accomplishments. I think I chose to apply to grad school in part because that's what she did. Grad school however has not been a very good time for me. I struggled with my research the first few years so badly that I had to change projects altogether. On top of that I have had to teach in order to be funded which has slowed my progress down and really caused me a lot of stress. I do not enjoy teaching much at all. Part of this has caused my career goals to shift I have an engineering undergrad degree and know that I don't need a PhD to find a decent job. All of this has left me considering quitting my PhD which really means leaving with a master's degree so not a total loss. I have been hesitant to discuss this with her because every time I bring it up it is clear she has a very strong opinion that I get my PhD and would likely do everything she can to convince me to stay. I choose not to discuss this decision with her because I don't want that pressure from her and I think she still has some influence over me although it's less than before. I also just want to avoid fighting with her about it. And hash x200b. We saw each other for the first time in about six months recently, we live on opposite sides of the country, and the topic of me questioning if I should finish my degree came up. I basically said I don't want to talk about it, but she got upset about that telling me I shut her out and didn't want to hear others' perspective. It turned into a bit of a fight that completely ruined the time we spent just before she left and has kind of been bothering me since. When she asked why I shut her out, I brought up how 3.5 years ago I had to hide that I was planning to get married. Basically I decided to get married to my husband after we had already been together for three years. We had to get married or else he would not be allowed to live in the US. There was nothing sketchy or illegal going on it's just that there aren't really many legal paths to immigration right now that would have been available to him. I got married at 22, he was 25, which is young but nothing crazy in my opinion. I don't regret it at all and I am so happy that we can be together because of it. There are three reasons I didn't discuss this with her until well after we had decided to get married. I knew if I discussed the situation with my sister as I was making the decision she would have done literally everything she could to convince me not to go through with it and I did not want to deal with that at all. There are various reasons I knew she would object and can include them if people think they are relevant they have nothing to do with my husband specifically. I also was happy with my decision and didn't feel the need to seek advice about it. I waited until his visa was approved to tell my family because I didn't want to shock everyone with that big news and then have it fall through if the visa was denied. I told her about it the same day I told my parents, and as I expected she was very unhappy about it and tried to convince me not to do this. She even made us get a prenup for no good reason, she did pay. I went through with it because I thought it might make her accept it more but honestly it actually harms me more than anything since he earns far more than me. I don't care that we have a prenup I think it just illustrates that my sister is trying to protect me in a way that I think is very misguided. Over the past three years she has brought up her objections to this decision less and less, and even seems to like my husband since she has gotten to know him better but still gives me disapproving glances whenever the topic of me getting married partially for immigration reasons comes up. I told her that her reaction to this whole thing was part of the reason I don't always want to include her in these decisions, pointing out that more than three years later I couldn't be happier with the choice I made. Her response was time will tell, which I think is a pretty shitty thing to say honestly and shows me that even if the decision I made turns out well if it isn't what she thought I should do she won't get the fuck over it. There have been a few other life decisions I think that she has influenced me in that I regret I allowed her to. I don't know how to make peace with her since she is acting very hurt that I do not want to hear her advice on this matter and I am afraid of this causing a rift between us. TLR my sister is upset. Hurt I don't want to talk to her about considering quitting my PhD. I don't want to discuss it with her because she very much wants me to finish it. This has been an issue with other life decisions including my decision to marry my husband. I don't know how to make peace with her about this. 
Forget about making peace and concentrate on standing up for yourself. You are not obligated to consult her on any decisions. You're not even obligated to consult your parents, let alone your sister. You're going to have to tell her to mind her own business. She probably won't like it. That's her problem. Your sister needs control and authority over your life. What she actually needs is an information diet. Grey rock her like you've been doing don't tell her shit until it's too late for her do anything about it. This is what is happening thanks by great to talk to you. It may feel bad because of the whole, oh but we're family, idiocy but boundaries here are needed. Let her be upset. That's her problem so let her keep it. All this, why doesn't op talk to me? Crying is a soup she can stew in because she made it for herself. You don't need to be the primary ingredient anymore. I think if you're aiming for peace between you, you're wasting your time. You're never going to get that from your sister because your definitions of that word are vastly different. Peace to you is the freedom to get on with your life and your choices. Peace to her is pushing her opinions onto you until you agree with her just to shut her up, like with the prenup. The only compromise is for her to let go of any desire to control you and you have more of a sibling relationship instead of this surrogate parent, child one you've had for most of your lives. How likely do you think that is? I had a sis like that, but I stupidly never realized how manipulative and cruel she was until I was in my late twenties. I found my partner, my best friend in life and we got engaged after being together two years. I excitedly called my sister the first moment I could as I was so happy and her response was, what did you do that for? Ouch. Cut her out my life not long after. Been with my partner over eight years and never had a more happy, content and peaceful life before. Blood doesn't mean family by default. That spot in your life is earned not obligated. I am older sister, and what she's asking for is to be your parent, assuming you're an actual child. Even as a kid this isn't normal at all. Shit's whack. There are some bizarre assumptions in there about how families work. You can't make peace here because you are not the one causing the problem. Dang. Thanks for explaining the weird relationship my mom has with her older sister. Op. My mom is 76 and her older sister is 84 and their relationship is exactly like what you're describing with your sister. Personally, I don't understand why my mom is still in contact with her sister but that's her choice. I do know it's fucking exhausting for her. The issue is control. She does mean well, but she thinks she can do things better and won't be convinced otherwise. You have to lower your contact and cut her off. Keep telling her, stop trying to control me. You are 28-ish years old. Old enough to be married. Old enough to set your own boundaries with your overbearing sister. Gertrude, I appreciate that you love me. But I am a grown woman and I will make my own decisions. Let's talk about something else. How about the weather, when she keeps it up? I have to go now, this isn't up for discussion. When you'd like to talk, please call me. Hang up, walk away. Every time, she will accept it or not. Those are her feelings to deal with. You are not required to consult her about major decisions in your life. If you want to tell her you might be open to discussion if she could demonstrate she is willing to provide support but not opinions, you could do that, but it's unlikely she's capable of that. It's your life. No one else's. She doesn't really get a say. Why is she so hyper-invested in your life's decisions? I mean, I'm not thrilled with all the choices my siblings have made. If they'd ask me, what do you think of my spouse, or, how do you like the crappy small town I live in, I'd tell him, but without being asked my opinion, I follow the old adage of, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. They're adults just like I am, and if they want to live in a one-horse town where the cultural highlight of the year is the pancake breakfast fundraiser for the volunteer fire department, yay them. Nothing wrong with just telling her, I've chosen to not include you in my major life decisions because you refuse to accept that I am capable of making my own choices. The next time your sister acts like you are the bad guy for not seeking her approval at every turn, ask her who she gets approval from for her decision making. I am guessing she has enjoyed the freedom of making her own choices without having to deal with tongue clucking from you or anyone else. Why don't you deserve the same freedom? This is what I would tell her. My mom, younger, and aunt, older, had a very similar relationship. My aunt was very controlling, always thinking she knew best and making my mom feel shitty for trying to find joy in life. My mom finally could not take it anymore and stopped interacting with her outside of necessity. After their mom died, they pretty much became strangers. We haven't seen my aunt in years. Too long did not read. Your sister needs to figure out what she values most. Having control over your life decisions or being with you on the journey. 
she just cursed your marriage after spending three years on pushing a divorce on you despite your happiness. A good deed in the past doesn't justify a flood of misdeeds in the future. You don't need her approval. Let me repeat that. You don't need her approval. Keep telling yourself that until you believe it. PhDs are for those who are dedicated to getting them or need them for a job. They're really really cool but being cool is not worth putting yourself through this much stress or debt. IDK your finances. I would sit down with your sister and have one last discussion. My life is my life and your opinion will be noted but you have no control over my choices if you feel differently you won't be involved at all. This has to be your hill to die on or it will never end. She's controlling and she won't stop unless you stop giving her even the slightest feeling of control. I was in a very similar situation to you, but I was following bad career, marriage advice from multiple sisters, not just one. I'm glad around 28 I realized I need to live my own life, my own career, and marry who I wanted at City Hall despite their objections. Don't let your sister dictate your choices, do what makes you happy. She'll either come around because she loves you or you'll know she doesn't love you enough to respect your decisions and shouldn't be involved. I know someone who left their PhD program like you did and got a master's in engineering. There's many jobs you can get, don't sweat it. I am afraid of this causing a rift between us. Unfortunately it is up to her whether it causes a rift between you, because it is up to her whether she's able to accept you being an independent adult or not. This feeling that standing up for yourself equals conflict is a manipulation tactic. She is the one that is choosing to create conflict. You're just living your life. The only thing you have the power to do is to set boundaries to maintain your autonomy. How she responds to that is her choice. She doesn't give you advice, she delivers directions and pouts that you are an adult who makes her own choices in life. She created this barrier due to her own behavior. I was so happy leaving grad school with a master's instead of staying on for PhD as planned. So, happy. This sounds like an icky dynamic and your sister needs to butt out. Even a parent should never treat her an adult child this way. Never. She is used to it because she started treating you a certain way when you were too young to know better. Now the pattern is established. As you start to feel stronger and more sure of yourself, which happens somewhat naturally as you get older, you will have a much easier time telling her to mind her own business. I suggest some therapy, assertiveness training. You don't owe anyone an explanation for anything. You can tell her that she can either feel, right, or she can be your sister, but it's obvious that she cannot be both. Tell her that she can be the one to pick which she'd rather be. You are a constant, and not a variable in her equation, and she should act accordingly. Peace in families is all we want. I feel bad for your sister. She has some serious tunnel vision and is potentially missing out on a lot of living, by lacking the willingness to look outside her box. The only thing you really can do is have your own boundaries and learn to navigate around her. If she is going to take offense to you living your life by your terms, then that is something she needs to work on herself. You can't fix that, only she can. I think you should not tell her beforehand about decisions you are planning to make, or she will try to pressure you to do things her way. Don't tell her until after the fact. If she pressures you, tell her it's your decision to make. She is not your parent and you are not a child. If you wanted her advice, you would ask for it, but you've come to realize trying to get advice from her becomes more of a controlling argumentative situation, so it's best you not keep her in the loop about your decisions. If she wants to be miffed about that, let her be miffed. It's your life and your decisions to make. This sounds exhausting. Please make the best decision for your own happiness and mental health. If she or anyone questions why, you can reply, it makes me happy. BTW, PhDs and research, unless you happen upon the perfect advisor, are overrated. I know so many underpaid, unhappy postdocs. You make way more money just skipping out with a master's and going to industry. Congrats on getting an engineering degree. That's a feat by itself, and I'm glad to see females pursuing this field. Grad school is tough sledding, I wouldn't be too concerned with your sister's ideas for you, it seems you're doing well in life so ignore what she wants you to do. It's your life I'm a liberal myself so I encourage freedom in society, you as a person have the right to make your own choices. Best of luck going forward in your career I hope you find a good job and succeed. You can actually have it both ways to an extent. Call her and get her advice on smaller things. Thank her and help her feel important. You are right to leave her out of discussions if that is what you are comfortable with. We older siblings like to feel useful and trusted, but she seems to be overstepping, especially now that you are married. 
I would encourage you to maintain the relationship because it does seem like she cares for you very much. If you can express your love for her and set some boundaries, I think you can have a great relationship. Easier said than done. I hope this helps. Good luck. Her reaction to you making your own decisions isn't your responsibility. You're not making her upset, she's getting upset because she still thinks you're her little sister who she still has to guide through life, in spite of you being a grown-ass adult. You should call it what it is. Your sister is controlling. Until she can learn to respect your decisions, she doesn't get to be a part of the decision-making process. Sounds controlling to me. I have two older sisters. If I seek them out for advice, but they don't expect me to follow it, or throw temper tantrums and guilt trips if I don't. You are a grown-ass woman. I can't imagine if my sisters acted like that. No one puts baby in a corner. Unless your sister is paying for your rent, mortgage, tuition, food, clothing, expenses and taking care of your every whim, she gets no say in how you live your life. It turns out that your sister lives on the other side of the country, sees you once every six months and has an attitude problem. There is no reason why you need to concern yourself with what she thinks. You barely see each other anyways. Just concentrate on your relationship with your husband, your friends and also try to expand your circle of friends if you feel that you need more friends. Maybe make some new friends that will not be like your sister. I don't know how to make peace with her about this. You don't. You didn't do anything wrong. She needs to accept that you're going to make decisions without her input. If she can't act graciously about that, she just gets information after the fact. The word, no, is a full sentence. You're an adult and responsible for what happens in your life. Her opinions are equal to anyone else's, though it's up to you to listen or even ask. There's a huge difference between advice and imposing someone's opinion that's not warranted or asked for and she has multiple times crossed boundaries and judged you she needs to understand that if she wants a relationship she should have stepped back and let you make those choices whether you made bad or good choices isn't her place to correct. Overall she's hurt but it's her own actions and no fault of anyone else's. You cannot make peace and do what you want and need to do in your own life. You cannot control her reactions to your decisions. If you wants to throw tantrums and be a brat when she doesn't get her way, let her. Let her be mad. You are not causing this, her irrational behavior is. Every time you cave into what she wants, you reinforce to her that if she pushes you hard enough, she'll get her way. She knows that is she sulks and whines and pushes, you'll try to appease her. Peace at the cost of your own self-respect is not a good bargain, and that sounds like that's the only peace possible in the situation as described. You didn't cause this issue. Her behavior did. You can't change her behavior. Only she can. You can tell her what her behavior has done to you, you can ask her to change, but you can't make her. Beyond that, you'll call on whether this is worth it to you. She's very protective, but a lot of this is her own ego, in that she wants you to mirror the choices she's made in her own life. Until she sees that herself, this dynamic will continue. Do what you're doing, stick to your boundaries and keep her at arm's length. Remind her often that you are not her child, her shadow or her protege, you're her sister. I wonder if part of it is your sister might need you to follow her path to justify her decisions. She might have doubts about the decision she made but if you do the same then it is a good choice. Either way don't engage with her. Let her yell and go on and you keep calm. Tell her the decision is made and there is nothing else to discuss. She can be mad as she wants but you don't have to provide information to her. You need to set better boundaries with her, even if it means making her upset. Tell her simply that you're not interested in discussing decisions with her, they aren't up for discussion, end of story. This is a her problem, not a you problem. If she wants to make it a you problem, then limit your contact with her. The prenup hurts me because he makes more than me, and this is why he probably signed it with no issue. If any man is reading this RN, always get a PRENUP. Only going to help you in the long run. I wrote out a full venting session about my sibling, took a step away, and came back to delete it because I realized it was making the post about myself more than you. I'm sorry you're going through this. I very much understand and empathize about how stressful it is having annoying, narcissistic, know-it-all assholes always trying to one-up you or put you down, then blame you for it. The best thing you can do is take away their power over you by distancing yourself and laughing them off when they try their shit again. If you're not as confrontational as I can be, then just tell them respect your decision and back off. Just let her go. I personally no longer keep people who only wants me to fit their mold all the time in my life. Love is compromise sometimes and if she cannot provide that, what are you going to do, op?
What do you exactly want to happen here? That your sister understand you and accepted your decision wholeheartedly. She is not very psychologically aware of how interactions work. If you had the right kind of relationship you wouldn't have to hide things from her and she's not taking responsibility for her share in this. She probably tries to force you into her point of view instead of recognizing your right to make your own decisions. She should just listen, not lecture. Sounds like she believes you're a child and wants to treat you as such. Act like an adult and ignore her.